Look at this. <laughs> Football version. <laughs> <laughs> We got a lot of fucking smart Alex out yeah. there because we did a, a nice little dressing episode and I, I didn't think about like putting out a football one. The Caesar! I got a Caesar, bro! But we do have a new sponsor, Hero Bread, so we thought it'd be perfect to make some fried chicken sandwiches with yeah. uh, brioche. This bread farms. is actually good. Yeah, it's sick. So the bread itself, zero net carbs on all of them. They're high in protein. Zero sugar, you got good calorie count. Yeah, so it's, it's, carbs. it's got all the good stuff and they get rid of the bad stuff. Everything is like real high protein, low carb, and no filler. It's very exactly. healthy bread. This is actually the first time I've eaten it. It is a lot. It is it's great, good. right? Yeah. I had a piece of toast with the, with the wheat and they got a lot of the nuts in it. So, we're good. making a buffalo fried chicken sandwich. We're going to do it three different ways. Not really three ways, but I'm going to use an American slice. I, I don't know if that's like a Philly thing. American cheese? Yeah, on a fried chicken sandwich. Oh, I guess, that, yeah, maybe that's right. It might be regional. Yeah. Because that is kind of weird. But I'm also going to do a blue cheese crumble, just lettuce, a dill pickle, and then we're making a spicy mayo, a spicy smoky mayo, which that's is smoked not paprika. Not yeah. Bad. Before we clear all this shit off, this is just a dredge, which you're supposed to do for at least four hours up to about 24 hours. You say a dredge? A soak. Mm. Right? No, dredging is the flour part. I've heard dredge get used in cooking, but I don't understand. I don't know. Dredging is when you, you dig out a river. And then I'm going to do a garlic butter like we did for the meatball sandwiches on the outside and then toast the bun. If you don't have a large pot, we we'll just do a shallow fry where you just take a regular standard pot like this and give it like an inch, inch or two. It's about four minutes on each side. We're using chicken thighs. Chicken thighs are much juicier and more tender. A lot of like bougie hipster restaurants only use thighs, if you notice, like the place mm, around the corner. Yeah, yeah. If you're not into chicken thighs, I'd say grow up. It's all about texture and look. I just like little kids don't like it, but it's a better flavor. And then we're gonna make a hot sauce, a buffalo hot sauce, and we're just gonna use Frank's. I love Frank's. Maybe two teaspoons of butter to make it buttery. I'll probably put a third in for Chris since he wants Yeah, extra butter. He wants extra butter. I couldn't find a full fucking pickle spear. The pickle know? selection at that place is fucking dog unforgivable. Dog shit. Yes. But the IPAs. <laughs> I need the Vlasic snap. Yeah. I have to. I have to get the story out because it's so embarrassing how I got food poisoning. We did AYG yesterday, mm -hmm. so there was a lot of boozing, and then Shane, me, Gardini, Lemair and ladies went to run the jewels. And I beat Shane home, but there was a bag of Taco Bell. Well, you left early. <laughs> yeah, well, I beat him. Uh, it was a great concert, though. <laughs> I heard. Shout out Run the Jewels. Shout out Run the Jewels for shout, shout, out, shout out Killer Mike and LP for being the best. <laughs> I get home, there's a big bag of Taco Bell on the doorknob, so I was like, oh fuck, well now I need Taco Bell. Shane opens the door like right after I closed it. He's like, that's mine, give it to me. So then I ordered cinnamon donut balls. Yeah, that's insane. Ordering dessert from oh Taco Bell is might be the dumbest thing I've ever so heard. So embarrassing. So yeah, I've been best friends with the toilet for 18 yeah. hours straight. <laughs> I think I got I think I got COVID for too much McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. No, it's from traveling in McDonald's <laughs> yeah. with animals. It's true. When I, I did this on Instagram a couple years ago, where I just I was starving for Popeyes. I'm like, I'm just going to try and make my own Popeye sandwich, the version of it. Yeah. A version of it. And when I did this exact thing. I dredged it in buttermilk, a little hot sauce, a little salt for at least four to 24 you hours. You keep saying dredged. It can't be dredged. I think it's dredged. You do always ask a question that I should fucking know. It's <laughs> I'm obvious I, you I know. should know. And I don't. That's the point of this cookie show is any fucking more. This is what this is the nice part about having someone who has no idea what they're doing on the show. Yeah. Because right, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's literally like explaining sleep to an alien. <laughs> just like, Dredge means lightly coating food with a dry ah. ingredient. Flour. Yeah, the flowering stretch. I so I did say okay. that in the beginning. I'm, you soak these overnight for four to 24 hours. Is that definition number one or definition number two? Chris, can we just continue? Who gives a shit? I want to know what's more, what, 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 ha, what kind of dredging happens more. 
The number one definition is clear out of bed, harbor, river with the scooping of mud, weeds, rubbish. Oh, that's <laughs> Yeah. Are you done? Can we do this now? Well, the definition we number have, three, I, the definition number three is to bring. Not just deep. everybody just staring at you <laughs> reading. <laughs> it's not what the fuck. I forgot. I forgot my favorite use of dredge is to bring to people's <laughs> attention an unpleasant or embarrassing <laughs> fact, <laughs> or, or, or incident that I've been forgotten. So that's my story. <laughs> <laughs> I just dredged yeah. the whole fucking. I don't know what you dredge that up. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, we've seen the records. You got HPV fresh in your eyes. <laughs> All right, so uh, after I did that video, I got a lot of people saying like, I, I couldn't keep the breading on, and I don't think I showed it enough, but after it soaks, you wanna pat dry the skin or else it, it'll slide right off. So before you dredge in flour, you're just gonna put this, ugh, gross. <laughs> Well, these are big boys. Oh, wet chicken with snot all over it? I might have to cut them. Food is disgusting, <laughs> dude, until it's in uh, your mouth. I don't want to cross over your Schweppes. <laughs> dude, that'd be great. <laughs> dude, the fight for the shitter between both of us being food poisoned. So these are just four. Uh, I went to the butcher. That's why they're massive. I might just cut them in half. So let's give a little pat to that, Chrissy. You want me to do it since you think it's gross? No, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. So once that's patted, I feel like this is taking all the fucking heady goodness off. Well, though. it's. I knew you were gonna ask that, and I'm glad you did. It's less about the gooey tartness. I'm, I'm patting. I'm it's patting. more about the soak, the soak, and tenderizing the meat. It's gotten into the bone. So as we just looked up, the difference between buttermilk and regular milk. Buttermilk is it has a culture, a live. Yeah. Right? Alive. Yeah. That's, the, that's the last thing you need to hear. Butter's alive. <laughs> so I think the enzymes within the disgusted butter disgusted enough. Break down some of the proteins in the chicken and make it a little more tender and juicy. So as he's doing that, I'm going to make this dredge. It's a cup and a half. <laughs> <laughs> it's about, I'm going to use two cups because these are big, but for four thighs, I'm going to use two cups just to have extra. A tablespoon of both paprika and garlic and then salt and pepper. Ready to be dredged. You saw, it was three or four shakes of the wrist. <laughs> Always season your flowers, all right? There's a lot of salt and hot sauce, so don't overdo it. Too much sodium, Christopher. I don't put salt on the actual chicken itself, it's just in the... That smoked paprika is, smell that, even just that little bit. It goes a long Ooh. way. So this smoked papri paprika is much different. <laughs> I, I smelled both this and the regular paprika. And it's, it's it's a a you nailed paprika. it the first two times. <laughs> <laughs> he kept saying it and he started tripping. Dude, you better be careful, man. I've been, <laughs> this is like when the guy like stumbles and hits a wall. I've, I've been going boomsies so, so often I can spray with a direct shot. You keep talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> like a skunk? Yeah. Pappy Le Pew. Oh. Get it? Peppy Le Poo. That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that's like almost his actual name. <laughs> it's Peppy Le Pew. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you gotta support me on this. I think <laughs> but the whole point is that he stinks. <laughs> and he's also like a sexual predator. Isn't he too? No, he is. He is. He is. Yeah. He's a real scumbag. It's like, uh, it's like that cold outside Christmas song. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, you can't leave. I want to put my pecker in you. She's yeah. like, I'm drunk. I have to get home. I'm not interested. <laughs> so I give it a nice little press everywhere, try and get every nook and cranny. One time I made a, what's that called? A Carolina chicken? Carolina? Yeah. It's nuts, dude. So I did it wrong. Carolina chicken, you're supposed to take the oil after, after frying your chicken. You take a ladle of the oil, put it into a mixture of cayenne and paprika, and you're supposed to paint the outside of the chicken because it's like extreme heat. And yeah. I dunked it, dude. I mean, it's equivalent to how many hours on the toilet for yeah. straight oh fire. My God. Yeah, just, yeah. just well, there's nothing worse than your asshole burn. Spit and fire. Or, yeah, or eat a ghost. Hero's gonna love this. I'm sure they have seen our podcast. <laughs> no, we're not just like straight down the yeah, yeah, cooking show. Yeah, yeah. What do you think about that? Do you want to try a second dredge? No. All right. So we're just gonna let this sit. As it dries, it's gonna adhere to the chicken surface. Whereas if you put it in right away, it's it just has more time to settle, you know? Yeah. 
Don't all throw right. it all away yet. We might need it. <laughs> Always throwing shit away. It's a stress response. Uh, aioli. It's a half cup of mayo, a teaspoon of paprika. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're out. That's a quarter cup. Oh, we're getting there. We are getting there. And this is just for the bottom of the bun. It's not... <laughs> yeah, we're out. <laughs> what do you think, Chris? This What's it like look like? like? Fucking milk in a cow in the dust bowl. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's dark, dude. No, that's perfect. It's nothing sad. We're going to make this work. Yeah, I think it's <laughs> Jesus, dude. <laughs> so, like I said, if you want to do a shallow cook, you can do a shallow cook, but just for the, the look of this, we're going to bring a bunch of this up. I'll probably do a flip regardless because I don't want to do a whole entire, let's see, a half bottle. I'll do a flip. But you want to bring this heat up to about 350 if you have one of these temper temperature things or this guy's. If you're doing deep frying, you need one of these. If you're doing shallow fry, it's about four minutes on each side. You can, but temperature control and deep fry is a little more important. You gotta light the oven? No. Oh, stove. The stove. Oh, oh, Jesus. That's how I lost my eyebrows. <laughs> so it's about a half cup. That's almost, it's close. It's very close. What's uh, close to what? A half quarter cup? That's half a half cup? That's over a quarter. And then we're just gonna add some hot sauce about one tablespoon. It's about a teaspoon of paprika. Very smoky. Again, goes a long way. What we said is three teaspoons of a tablespoon. That's about a third of a tablespoon. Looks good. It does look good. I would say try it, but we gotta save it. <laughs> I'm gonna make a, I'm just gonna make a garlic butter. Compound here. <laughs> what? I'm just wondering how much shit's on those hands. What do you mean? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I wash my hands, Christopher. It doesn't matter. You're shitting 30 times in 10 hours. You gotta check the walls? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It'll elevate it. Alright, I'm just gonna press one of these in here. Otherwise. That might be enough. I don't want to do it too well. This is for the outside of the bun. I'm gonna make a little toasted garlic Ooh, butter toast. La la. Just a little extra element, you know? Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, we did it with the meatball parm. I don't know if you remember how great that was. Also, another important thing is you don't want to over fill this because it drops the temperature too much, so then it'll soak into the breadcrumb, not breadcrumb, but flour, yeah. before it continues to fry it. So this temperature should stay at a 350, mm -hmm. but you don't want to overcrowd, so drop one, maybe two. Max. Oh, the temperature of the chicken will drop, drop the temperature. Drop the temperature. Yes, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. That's a good coaching point. Hot sauce, drop it in the saucepan. Fucking hot sauce is 80 degrees. Mm -hmm. It's room 10, it sits on a shelf. You like that richness? I do, I like it rich. I'll throw one more in there. Yeah, get a little extra butter in there. What are, the, what are the things can you put in hot sauce? You get herbs. I guess you could put Ooh. like oregano or something. Ooh. You want an herb, but I could put herb on the outside of the roll. Yeah, yeah. You gotta fucking elevate. All right, well, as we wait, we're close. Like a little, you're making a little garlic bread. Mm, uh huh. Wonderful. Oh, smell it. Yeah. All right, let me drop these. Yeah. Smelling more like buffalo, huh? Shout out Hexclad. Once again, they look delicious. They're getting there. All right. Yeah. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Holy Christmas! Yeah, the scars on your fingers become memories. Yeah, my mom, I mean, you ever hear that saying mom hands? Like they can just pick up a hot plate, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Callus from kids chewing on them. <laughs> yeah, from kids chewing on them. <laughs> <laughs> They're temperature controlled from little Gary's teeth gnawing on her fat sausages. So you, your stomach's fucked and you went with a mule cider, huh? Yeah, because this is almost alive. This is like good, 
cultures for your belly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. It's so funny to be that much of a drinker, to be like, I'm gonna get fucked up, everything will fix itself. <laughs> <laughs> About two at a time. Banging and clanging. <laughs> That's so funny to me. <laughs> Look how beautiful that is. Fried chicken. Man, are you excited for Christmas? Fall football season, dude? Yeah. I just can't wait for the... Today was so nice. Oh, God. It's Today so was nice. Today was so nice. Gorgeous. Fucking humidity's gone. Yep. Tonight is game one, home opener. Game two, home opener, Philadelphia Eagles. That game starts in 4.30. I'm wearing a diaper to the bar. I don't care how often I have to shit. <laughs> this is a big game, baby. I say I double dredge this, and just to see the difference. Double dredge. We'll so now, because the bottom had already gotten dry, I'm hoping this layer will actually stick more. I'm gonna pull these out. It's gotta be like 160, 165. I said dredge it a third time. You want a third boy? Yeah, get an extra saucy. Winter coat on. Yeah, dude. Yes. We'll find out. Now it's starting to look good. You ever get real high up into the mountains when it's snowing and uh, the trees are totally covered in snow? Yeah. That's what that looks like. I mean, look at the difference. It will be fun to see the double versus the triple. Nice. That looks good. Yeah, turn that motherfucker in there. Get it all nice and dredged. It is fun experiment, not knowing what the fuck. Yeah, yeah. This is the true essence of the show. Yeah, we don't do test runs. Here. Yeah, you fuck up and you go, all right. Fill off his test Look kitchen. how good that looks. Double in there. Trippy's got a snow hat on. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Yeah, dude. It's gonna be. It's gonna come out so good. It's gonna come out so good. Look how thick and juicy they are. Don't overcrowd the pan. We just learned that lesson. Bring it to 350. Only put one at a time. But this is a lighter breading, so it'll be perfect for the chicken Caesar wrap. Don't eat that yet. I'm gonna put it back in and try and crisp it up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dude. Yeah. That's it. Gherkin sucks. You don't like it? A little too sweet? Yeah, there's no better pickle than a dill. Yeah. You can't replace it. All right, all right. I hear you. I think this might be done here, Tom. All right. Good Christmas. Look at that, baby. Hole. Oh. My God. All right. <laughs> there you go. Be careful. Drop away from you. Yep. This, this looks beautiful. Yeah, that looks delicioso. Yeah, these look awesome. These are the, these are the originals. These are the first two we dropped. One coat. Yeah, boy. Just delicate, delicate, delicate. You want a spoon? You're gonna need it eventually to get around the corners. How the fuck did I start singing that song? Ah, uh, we were talking about Pepe Le Pew being a rapist. You want to drop some lettuce on the bottoms? I do. I'm going to go American cheese on one of these after the lettuce and let this heat transfer through. Oh, yeah. Wowzers. Some pickle.
Damn, dude. Look at that. You give it a go? Yeah. Take a bite out of that. Let's go. Hot? Mm-hmm. Not bad. Mmm. God damn. Let's fucking go. God damn. You know the other one I would like? Yeah, it's perfect. The blue cheese? Yeah. I could also do a little lighter on the sauce, but I like it heavy. Holy shit. All right, here's the second pick. so good. And we did, Chris and I did a little test run of like one dredge, two dredge, three dredge. One dredge, two dredge, three dredge, four. The lettuce. On this one, I'm gonna do a blue cheese crumble. Should we tell Shane we're making fried chicken sandwiches? Is he up there? I think so. So this is a blue cheese crumble. The pickle's nice because it cuts that. The blue cheese, I think, is going to be a real... Humdinger? Victory. I think so, too. I left the knife to the work there, Chris. I know it yeah, doesn't seem it. Yeah, yeah, you did. That's how you get it so you don't... Now this is a perfect the bread. size slider. Yeah. Bread's awesome, dude. The bread's really so good. So soft. The bread is perfect. I'm gonna eat it on my fucking plate over here. Oh yeah. That cashel blue, holy fuck. Wow. <laughs> it's like a, mm. it's like a high-end wing. Like oh my blue. god, yeah. Mm. Thank you, Hero. I gotta go get Hero, it. Yeah, the bread. Unbelievable. That's chicken sandwich done by Stuff Island. Yeah. Sponsored by Hero Bread. Patreon.com slash Stuff Island. Link, subscribe, share. You need to sweat. You're drenched. I'm trying to think of what You're fo drenched. Foley and Kevin would say to me. We should throw you in a little fucking flour mix. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you got I mean, the sauce all over you. <laughs> if it was Saturday night, it'd be Is real flour. Look right here. This will be the promo code. Yeah. Click the promo load to get a to get a deal using code. Click the stuff promo on. load. <laughs> I said code. Smash that promo load. <laughs> Dude, anytime I try and promote, it's just like it never comes out right. I know. Thank you. I'm done sweating. But it's also the it's a, it's, it's the, the food yeah. poisoning. It's the, the heat in the I've been sauce. slaving over the stove all day. <laughs> That was fucking delicioso.